Hey, what's up everyone? Sinister here bringing you an end of the year video. You know, 2020 is about to come to a close, so, you know, I want to end it with my favorite games of this year. So, if you have your choices of your favorite games, just leave it down in the comments down below. So, anyways, uh, the choices that I have, they're in no particular order. You know, I'll just spend like a few minutes, you know, explaining about each one, you know, outside blog. So, you know, I'm not going to bore you any longer. I hope y'all enjoy. Hey, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy things like that. So, anyways. Enjoy y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and start off with a third party game, and that is Streets of Rage 4. I um, mean, yeah, I'm glad this series came back after so many years. You know, you know it seemed like it's never missed a beat. So basically, this game is pretty much mixing the old with the new. Um, with the old, you know, you got two char returning characters. You know, you got Blaze and Axel coming back. And the new, of course, you have, like, Adam's daughter, Cherry, and, of course, he, this new guy named Floyd, he's got, you know, mechanical arms, walk around like he's Jax or something. I mean, yeah, so, basically, I mean, yeah, I'm glad, like, the beat of genre is not truly dead, and things like that, so, I mean, it's, this game's just, like, a, almost a breath of fresh air and things like that, so, it's cool you get to team up, you know, with uh, your friends, or you can go at it alone, you know, things like that. You know, it's cool have some new moves, even though it has a little nostalgia things like, you know, you can find out, things like that. So, I was like, yeah, you know, just on to the next game. You're about to see what it is. All right, here we go. We're going to start out with Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Cold War. I mean, yeah, like, graphically, man, this game is, like, silky smooth. I mean, just running at 60 frames per second, depending on the system runner, but... I mean, for those who have PC, you know it's going to run the best on there, so, you know, you know, we're just going to leave it right there, so, anyways, I mean, yeah, I had a chance to play this, I mean, I, I'm, so far, I'm loving the story, it's like so much to do, plus you have like those options, like to pick your responses, you know, when someone says something to you, things like that, it has like, you know, go replayability, and things like that. And of course, last night I had a chance like to play the like the multiplayer a little bit. I mean, the usual multiplayer things like that, you know, death matches, zombies, things like that. But of course, I'm not a fan of zombies and things like that. But however, I mean, I'm glad that you know Treyarch started to bring the story mode back because I didn't care much for the last game they came out. I don't call it Black Ops 4 because there's it's not existent at all. It is just all Black Ops 3, you know, multiplayer extension, you know, things like that, so, anyways, I mean, yeah, this game is just fun, I was like, oh, yeah, let's move on to the next game, shall we? And here we got Last of Us Part 2, I mean, this game came out over the summer, you know, like, as soon as this came out, I started, you know, diving into it, see how the action is. I mean, I have to commend Naughty Dog, like, the way they did the action and the graphics, I mean, that's what I really love about this game. However, the negative I have to give about it is the story, because, I mean, the original story from the first game, I really love. It flowed. You really feel for Ellie and Joel, their struggle and their pain, you know, here and so forth. I mean, with, with this one, the story on this one, it's like, eh, it's a mixed bag, you know, things like that. I know not many people like didn't like Abigail or the controversial, you know, the death of Joel and on here and things like that. I mean, basically revenge is basically one of the plot points on here, you know. You know, Abigail wanted revenge on Joel, Ellie wanted revenge on Abigail, you know, like <laughs> it's like a circle, you know, things like that. It's just repeating itself, things like that. So uh but anyway, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite exclusives this year. Stay tuned for the next two. And now we have our next PlayStation exclusive, and that is Ghost of Tsushima. I mean, I, what can I say, man? It's like, out of the exclusives I've played so far, this is basically, this game is amazing. This has basically been my favorite game of this year. I mean, it's just the way it plays, like, the, the way the story is, like, the, the way it flows, like, not just the combat and the gameplay, but also in, in the, just the story, like, even though, like, the the history and like it takes place in a historical setting even though like the characters in there are fake i mean it's just i mean sucker punch did an amazing job on this game i mean like the research i mean they did to it you know like the mongols invading toshima island i mean jen is just badass like you know like I mean, this is a dude this is my dude right here i mean jen i mean just like you got all these different stances i mean way you know he takes out you know enemies and things like that just stabs them like you know, just to end their suffering, he can just go up and just basically stab and put them out of their misery. I mean, 
I mean, yeah, man, it's like definitely, definitely one of my favorites out of you know this year, uh, things like that. So stay tuned for the next one. And now we're down to the wire, the final one, and that is Spider-Man Miles Morales. And so yeah, this list has been heavy with exclusives, you know, actually three of them. <laughs> had Last of, Last of Us Part Two, he had Ghost of Tsushima, and now you got Miles Morales. I mean, yeah, I mean, just like with Spider-Man, you know, twenty back in 2018, this is a follow-up. I mean, yeah, you may say it's a, a spin-off, you know, from that game, things like that, but nonetheless, it's cool to me. I mean, it's Miles Morales. Again, you know, you finally take control of him fully in Spider-Man form, so... So yeah, so Peter Parker took a break. So now Miles is, you know, starting at his own game. He's front and center. You know, blah, blah, blah. I, was, I mean, I just like all the thing about it. And of course, you know, what set him apart, set him apart from Peter Parker, of course, those Venom moves. You know, got a Venom fist. Things like that, you know, sit there stunning your enemies all around you. Of course, they will come in handy, especially like later in the game and things like that. So yeah, so that concludes my list of 2020. Can't wait to see you in 2021. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the list. Yeah, like I said, just leave a comment down below. If like, also like, drop it down your list of games for 2020, things like that. And of course, what you're looking for in 2021. Again, just leave your comments down below. This is Sinister. Be easy. See you in 2021.